we've asked students, faculty, and community members to tell us what the collection means to them. I'm Candace Klein. I'm a PhD student with the History Department here at the University of Saskatchewan. I specialize in several different areas of research, but I mainly focus on the history of gender and sexuality and legal history. And so I've been working with the Richards Collection off and on for the last four years and had the opportunity last summer to actually curate and go through the hundred boxes received recently that Neil collected over the decades of him living here and being an activist and working at the university. This is Neil. He came here in the 70s and he worked at the archives for a long time, but Neil was a very out and proud and uh, activist gay man. And he collected, I almost want to say hundreds of thousands of documents at this point. He went through every single newspaper, clip anything related to any kind of queer, so gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, anything related to that topic he would clip. He also collected tons of publications, whether they were um, newspapers, activist newsletters, uh, pornography, um, anything you can kind of think of related to any kind of gay history Neil had. The Richards Collection is really unique in that there, it covers a lot of ground. So usually when you go to an archive that has any kind of queer ephemera, it usually focuses on a specific time period. It tends to have a lot of dedication to one topic, but Neil collected things all across the spectrum from all these different dates. So there are things from really early uh, queer activism, not only just in Saskatchewan, but across Canada, across the world. My recommendation is to take your time, definitely look at the finding aid, but also consult with people that are um, aware of what's actually in the archive. Um, and just using that finding aid, it can actually help you narrow some things down. There are some details. So, you know, what's your area of focus? For example, um, one emerging field of research right now is uh, queer religion, basically any kind of gay rights and activism within religious institutions. And the Richards Collection has hundreds of documents related to that. Because a lot of people think that gay activism is happening in this sort of um, agnostic sphere, and that's not entirely true, especially in Saskatchewan. Actually, across Canada, you have a lot of people who themselves are gay and a part of religious institutions fighting for their rights in those institutions. So, for example, you can narrow that down in the finding aid. Definitely prepare to spend some time going through documents because there's lots of really fun surprises in there too. There might be some areas of research that you think you're interested in, but really be open to what's available because there's so much. There's a couple of gaps for sure, and I really hope that people themselves can, uh, in the community can rectify this or donate materials, but definitely Indigenous uh, perspectives, Two-Spirit perspectives. There are some things um, that Neil's collected over the years for sure, but it's certainly not enough, and there's always room for that. Um, so especially some kind of oral history collection would be great to add to it or any kind of testimonies or things like that to add to the archives can really round that out. Um, and I know that in the future, the Richards Collection would definitely benefit for the addition of an Indigenous perspective or Indigenous perspectives within the archive.